Hi, I'm Mike with Craft Supplies USA and today's pro tip is on threading wood and acrylics. A design feature on a number of our project kits is the ability to unscrew the blank from the hardware. Like on this bottle stopper. This allows you to wash the bottle stopper without ruining the blank. Before we get started, we need to select a blank. Use hardwoods whenever possible. The threads cut cleaner and are much more durable than softwoods which tend to strip out and crumble. Now that we have our blank, we need to mount it between centers and rough turn it round. Then use a skew lid on its side to cut a dovetail for mounting in a chuck. With the blank secured in the chuck, Square off the face of the blank using a spindle gouge. I also use the tip of a skew to create a small dimple to help the drill bit start on center. Before we drill our blank, we need to talk about selecting the right size drill bit for our 3 8 tap. This will depend on the density of the blank. For most hardwoods and acrylics, an 11 seconds drill bit is perfect. But if the wood is on the soft side, use a slightly smaller 5 16 bit so you have a little more material to work with. Now that we have the right drill bit, measure the length of the threaded stud and add an eighth of an inch. Then use tape to mark that depth on the drill bit. Set the lathe speed to approximately 500 RPM, then drill to our tape mark. We prefer slower speeds when drilling to reduce heat buildup especially with acrylics, where excessive heat can actually melt and distort the hole. Next, we'll tap the threads. I like to leave the blank in the chuck for this. Lock the spindle, then align the tap by eye and thread it in a bit, using a wrench or a tap handle. The trick to tapping threads is to advance a turn, then back out part way, slowly and steadily cutting the threads. If you go too fast or don't back out, you're likely to strip them out. Keep going until the tap bottoms out. On acrylics, you can use water as a lubricant when cutting threads. It'll make that process just a little bit easier. Now that the threads are cut, we've got one more quick tip. Saturate the threads with thin CA glue this really stiffens up the threads, making them much stronger. Once the glue dries, run the tap through one more time to clean up the threads. It doesn't take long and it makes a huge difference. With the threads all cut, you can mount the blank to the threaded mandrel in the headstock. And turn your project to shape. Just take light cuts to avoid stripping those threads. Once the blank has been sanded and finished, screw the blank onto the hardware and admire your work. Well, that wraps up this pro tip. Hopefully you learned some helpful tips and hints on threading woods and acrylics. If you liked the video, subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to check out our entire selection of wood turning supplies at woodturnerscatalog.com.